Welcome to Slash Bash, where today I am bringing you another Am I the Butthole Reddit video. Am I the butthole for ruining Thanksgiving? I'm a 30-year-old female, and I met my boyfriend who's a 30-year-old male three years ago. Before me, he was together with his high school sweetheart. They fell out of love and broke up. A year later, we started dating. His mom, however, was still heartbroken about it. I was very understanding and thought she needed time to get to know me. The ex basically grew up with them and they saw her as a part of the family. For the first year of my relationship, his mom would call me the ex's name until my boyfriend got angry once and told her to be nice. She laughed it off and said it was just a habit. After that, she started calling me the wrong name, Janet instead of Jenny, fictional names just for the story. I corrected her a couple of times, but she seemed to like hurting me, so I ignored it later. My boyfriend has two sisters, and a couple of weeks before Thanksgiving, we were invited to a barbecue at the older sister's house. I was in the kitchen with my boyfriend's mom, the sisters, and one of their husbands. The older sister then talked about how my boyfriend praised my cooking to her husband, and the mom was listening. She then said out loud, sure, why don't we let Janet make the turkey this year? The sisters giggled and looked at each other, and I said, that's a great idea. I didn't tell my boyfriend what happened. On Thanksgiving, we went to his mom's house with the usual wine and dessert. His mom was shocked. Everybody was shocked. I said, what? I thought Janet is bringing the turkey. There was yelling, crying, and then we got kicked out. My boyfriend is so angry with me, he hasn't talked to me since. I think it's over, to be honest. But I still don't think I did anything wrong. Did I? Am I the butthole for my sister ending her pregnancy and possibly her marriage? I'm a 32-year-old male, and I have two much older brothers, 38 and 40, and a sister who's 34. Note the age differences. Our dad passed away five years ago in our hometown, a more suburban town in Wisconsin. Our family was relatively modest when my brothers grew up, so they were cared for a lot by my parents' families who are very conservative. My dad personally was not. By the time me and my sister were born, our dad's career was doing great and we were well off. Me and my sister have our masters while our brothers didn't go to college despite having the funds and chances. My mom had been trying to set my sister up with a churchgoer's kid. This didn't progress until around the time my dad died and my sister came back and helped with the funeral. My brother's families are both in town as well. I worked in tech in China then and live in San Francisco now and since the funeral, have been mostly low contact with everyone except my sister. Honestly, I was very close with my dad, and there was obvious favoritism towards me which the others didn't like. So my mom and oldest brother now technically live in my house. My sister somehow ended up leaving her career and moving back. She married the man my mom set her up with in 2019. I honestly was in shock at the wedding. I really didn't ever see my sister living on a farm and becoming a stay-at-home mom. I knew for a fact my mom and brothers had a huge part in this because there were a lot of she's back home posts. Later, I found out that she had pretty much given all her savings to her husband. Later, in 2020, my sister straight out of the blue started calling me and just chatting about things. I, of course, love this. Early in 2021, my mom told me my sister was pregnant. I immediately asked my sister about this and she kind of broke down. In short, the husband has been abusive. She's broke and my family and her in-laws haven't helped. My oldest brother wailed at her about how his wife went through the same thing and my sister should stop thinking she's special. The first time she called me, he had kicked her out of their home for complaining about their finances. This was fairly common. This is where I am the butthole. I basically yelled at her too. I told her that she had a career which she can still go back to and I can help her move back to New York City where she worked and studied before. And that the pregnancy wasn't the end of it and there were other options. The next day my sister asked me for $5,000 which I sent to her without asking. 
I didn't hear much after and didn't intrude because it was a total mind flip. A month later, my sister told me she had gotten a new job in New York City and filed for divorce. The pregnancy is also no longer on the table. Now, my family has been blowing up my social media calling me all sorts of crap. I've in general called them crap back as well, and the home might soon be on the market. My sister needed to switch apartments and got a restraining order against her ex, and well, things aren't great. But I'm happy my sister is better. So, am I the butthole? Wow, I just woke up and did not expect a response like this. Thank you everyone, this helps a lot. I saw a couple of posts mention they had been in the same predicament as my sister, and I'd really like to say that you aren't alone. Please, please reach out to those you have ever been close to. Am I the butthole for refusing to apologize to my husband in writing after I canceled all his family invitations to a Christmas celebration at our house? So to give some context, I'm a 32-year-old female and I've been married to my husband who's 39 for four years. I work a full-time job while he does a three times a week night shift. We have a two-year-old and I'm six months pregnant. This whole drama started days ago. My husband has a large family and on every Christmas, they'd gather at his father's house. My father-in-law passed away a year ago and this year my husband decided as the man of the family to host Christmas at our house. Unbeknownst to me, he sent out invitations for a five-day Christmas celebration to his entire family which are about 26 members in total. I found out about it by accident and I was too shocked to react. I confronted him on it and he said I shouldn't be surprised and just get used to it because after his father's death, he's now the family's head and all major family events will be held in our house and in his presence. I freaked out and said, no, this is wrong and he should have talked to me first before sending out any invitations to his family knowing I have other commitments like work and taking care of the house and our son. He said, we'll manage if I took time off work, but that means more workload later and it'd take away from my maternity leave. I demanded he cancel the invitations, but he refused saying over my dead body, then walked out. I ended up sending a mass text to everyone who received an invitation explaining that we will not be hosting Christmas this year. When my husband found out, he went off on me, calling my behavior outrageously appalling and said that I broke his word to his family and made him look small and with no authority. I, in a very strict tone, replied that I didn't sign up to host a celebration and accommodate 26 people while pregnant, taking care of a toddler and working. And I don't care if he became the head of family after his father's death because it means nothing to me. He took offense to that and walked out almost crying. He later talked about how I disrespected his father and him with what I said and demanded a handwritten apology for canceling the event and for being insensitive towards him and undermining his authority in front of his family. I said no apology from me in any form and the issue was still up especially with my mother-in-law giving me a stern talk about how out of line I was for disrespecting my husband's decisions regarding the holiday celebration with family. Just to put this out there, he planned on sitting and telling stories of his dad while I handle everything. Also, his family believed that as guests, it's rude to ask them to help. This is John from Slash Bash. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, now is the time to think about subscribing. I'd love for you to drop a like, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one.